Good afternoon, this is Father Paul Cochran, and I'm speaking to you from our sound studio here at St. Francis Xavier. We are preparing to enter the month of October, Respect Life Month, and this is something that's very important for us as Catholics. Uh, we are called to respect life from its natural beginning to its natural conclusion. And a lot of times we are criticized for the way that we have uh, focused upon just one aspect. And I think it's important for us as Christians and as Catholics to remember that we support life from its natural beginning to its natural conclusion. I'd like to read a short piece of scripture from you from the book of Deuteronomy where Moses is speaking to the people of Israel. It's at the end of his life, and he's given them a whole lot of instructions. But he gives one instruction which I think really should touch our hearts. When he speaks to the people, he says, I call heaven and earth today to witness against you. I have set before you life and death the blessing and the curse. Choose life then that you and your descendants may live by loving the Lord your God, heeding his voice and holding fast to him. For that will mean life for you, a long life to live on the land which the Lord swore he would give to your fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's something important for us, that to hear the voice of God speaking to us at the different points of life so that we support those who are struggling at the beginning of life, those who are struggling in the middle times of life, as well as those who are struggling at the end of life. We are a people that sees life from its natural beginning to its natural end. And we need to support those people in whatever way we can. I'd like to close with a poem from Wendell Berry. Uh, Father Steve Lantry does love to use poetry when he makes his recording. And this poem is entitled, The Wild Rose. Sometimes hidden from me, in daily custom and in trust, so that I live by you, unaware as the beating of my heart. Suddenly, you flare in my sight, a wild rose blooming at the edge of thicket, grace and light, where yesterday was only shade. And once more I am blessed choosing again what I chose before. So we choose life, my friends. We choose life from its natural beginning through its whole lifetime to its natural end, supporting those policies and those customs and those rituals which help each and every person blossom in the time of their life. May we do that, perhaps even unaware of how God is helping us. And may we also suddenly be aware, like the wild rose that blooms so quickly, where we would see life blooming and giving love and giving joy. Thank you.